Hello, welcome back to Martin Games, and today we're looking at my Tiger Sharks from um, the Tau Army for Aeronautica. So yeah, these are my uh, Tau Bombers. Are they uh, Bombers? They're classed as Bombers? I think they're classed as Bombers. But yeah, these are probably my favourite ships in the Tau Army for Aeronautica. Um, yeah, and these are the, so these two, the ones you get in the starter box with a Tau and Imperial Guard, I believe. Um, I saw my Imperial Guard anyway, I just wanted the towel. But yeah, this one here has the rail guns and it has burst cannons on the sides. But yeah, like my Barracudas, they're themed in a sort of armo, armo? army camo um, with some black and some silver and some like the windows blue with the white highlights as well. And I've matched on them with different stuff. So yeah, this is the one with the small rail guns because there is tiger sharks with big rail guns uh, and it's not very impressive because they never do much underneath you don't really see that um yeah i don't know why but you can see a lot of more silver in this light this light obviously just picks up a lot of silver um yeah i really like them and this is my other one with burst cannons now, i think they're heavy burst cannons i believe i want to get into cars i'll show you what they actually are but yeah, these have the heavy burst cans on the front and then ion blasters underneath. And they do move just. And one of them did break. Was one of these that break? And also, this one here, I've got the missiles sticking out as well. Yeah, exact same pattern as the other one. Um, I think one of my burst cans did break. Did one of my burst cans break? Yeah, this one here, you can tell I've glued it back together. Yeah, one of the burst cans break when I was transporting it. And also, I magnetized the bottom of these so I can. Store them easier, even though these fall off their pegs really easy because they can just move in a mess, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, that is my models. There's not much else to say, really. They're like the very same as my Barracudas, they're just um, just bigger and stronger and heavier and better. There's be just just better than Barracudas, to be honest. If you're playing Tower and Aeronautica, these are your friend, they're expensive though. So, yeah, let's get into the actual no, before we do the card, let's do a little Showcase on them and then I'll get into the cards. So yeah, this is the Tiger Shark AX102. So this is the one with the rail guns. Uh, yeah, this is 24 points. Uh, it's a bomber class. It has special rocket boosters, which when you're at the end of the game, if you can try and retreat, if you're at altitude five, you can just zoom off the board. So that actually saves you the points. It has five structure, two transport, two throttle, Ace maneuvers one to four, handling four plus, min speed one, max speed five, max altitude five. Um, so yeah, not fastest, not the most maneuverable, but still, it's five stretch points. It's a it's a tanky tanky ship. Um, so it has a pair of swift strike, swift strike rail guns. Um, they're only for an arcing. Um, close range they're rubbish. Mid range they're the best they're with three dice. And long range two dice, so it's not too bad. It has two plus damage, so very powerful, and extra damage six plus. So if you're six plus, you get two damage to the one, which is pretty good. And then obviously it has a missile pod, which is also for an for an arcing. Um, it has one close, three mid, and one long, four plus damage and aerial attack, which means I can't remember what aerial attack means, but I think it's something to do with you, you can't attack ground defenses or. You can only attack things in the air. I had a look at what that means, but I'm not sure what it means. Obviously, yeah, the problem is with this standard is you don't have any 
uh, side or back guns. So you, you'll need to spend some points on some burst drones or iron drones. Same as the Barracudas. So you, I can't remember how many points, there's not many points, but this doesn't make the total of point cost of the ship higher. But I would say you need these to help you against things that side or back at you. Um, with the railgun ones, this one here we're looking at, I would choose the ion blasters, ion drones, uh, just because you actually get some short range um, instead of having all long range or mid range. So yeah, like I said, the best thing to do for this is keep it mid range to try and get you the most dice and keep it for a dark end. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. So this is the Tiger Shark AX103. It has 32 points. I just realized the other one, so the Tiger Shark was with railguns is 24 points, this is 32. I think it's because it's the burst cans are very good. So the names, special rules, all of that is the exact same as the other one. The difference is obviously the main weapon. So the paired swin strike, burst cannon, um, so a swift strike the burst cannon. It has four close, nine mid, and four long, five plus damage. So not as powerful, but it do get a lot of dice. And I find in Analyska, the more dice you have, the more like you have to actually hit and damage the enemy than actually doing one big shot and like removing two damage. So that's probably why this is more expensive than that. Again, the front arcing, and you'll need to buy some gun drones to actually give you support from the sides and the back but yeah, other than that it's exactly the same as the other one so yeah let's move on to the third one so the third one is the tiger shark ax104 exact same again again it's the main weapons that are different so this one has paired iron cannons uh short two mid four and long two and four plus this is 26 points so it's more expensive than the railgun one but less expensive than the first can and actually it's probably more of a mid-range um, shit because you get short range dice and mid range is four, which is better than three of Rogan, and it still has extra damage to six plus. But you need four plus damage to hit. I don't have a model here because I don't actually have this one at all because you only get two Tiger Sharks in the core box. Um, actually, I think you only get two Tiger Sharks when you buy it separately as well. So I might actually need to buy another Tiger Shark box just so I can make this ship and um, this variant anyway. Um, but yeah. That leads me on to the last one, which is the hero. Dawn Sword. So it's the exact same ship as this one here. I think it, the stats are about the same. Um, handling's three plus. And I think that's it. Is that anything different? Uh, yeah. It has handling of three plus. So for an extra two points, you get an extra handling. Yeah, that is the Dawn Sword. So that's like a special character version of the ship. Like, I don't have models for that. But yeah, that is all of my Tiger Sharks and the rules and stuff. So if you like the video, please get a thumbs up. New channel, or subscribe. Bye.